No, you're right. I can't skate at all. Legitimately at all. I've tried a lot. It's too hard for me. I'm too afraid of eating shit. Especially after this. This absolutely ruined any chance of me ever getting on a skateboard again in any serious capacity. This is a brutal spill that was legitimately like a life-changing injury for him, unfortunately. And it's just something on- it's just on something super simple. Nothing crazy. He ended up having so many problems from that. An unbelievably gruesome injury. And I don't- I, I still, even like five years later, I still don't think he's fully healed from that. So no, I, I, I don't plan on getting into skateboarding at my age. Not a skateboard, but we ever try a one wheel? That I'd be more likely to, yeah. It's just as dangerous. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm a little- I'm more likely to go on that than a skateboard. I think you look great for your age. I'm 29. What the fuck do you mean for my age? <laughs> That's not even old. Show hairline. My hairline hasn't changed, which is nice. Not since college, I think. So I still wear my hair up pretty often. Like, if I actually have to go somewhere, I wear it up. I'm still thinking about that guy sneezing his guts out. Okay, Jesus, I need to look it up now. Does he, like, are you exaggerating? A 63-year-old was recovering from a surgery at the time of the incident. Oh, okay, so this is like a very specific set of circumstances that led to this. Oh my god, I typed it in and there's another one. U.S. man's colon falls out of body after a strong sneeze. This guy sneezed so hard his butt fell off. That's crazy. What would you consider to be the most heated argument you've ever been a part of in person or online? Uh, Online, I don't really know because it's hard to tell what's actually a heated argument and what's not. So I don't have an answer for that, but I do have one for in person because it was recently. I don't really get into arguments. I, I just, I, like, I don't really care enough. Like, I don't think there's any value in arguing something, like, just to prove that you're right or wrong to someone. It just doesn't matter, to be honest, in my eyes. But, occasionally, I, I get into little arguments with friends about n worthless topics. And, f I think it was four days ago now? Uh, I think it was... I think I, I think I started it, unintentionally. Because I just had Moe's again for the first time in ten years, and I was like, man... Moe's is so much better than Chipotle today. Like, it's crazy. Like, modern Chipotle is trash tier. And I said that because I was hyping up how good Moe's was because I hadn't had it in so long and I was blown away that the quality was, like, so much better than Chipotle. And Matt said, yeah, but Chipotle has higher quality ingredients, so I think Chipotle is still better. And I was like, what do you mean Chipotle is better? Every time I order a burrito, it's fucking ice cold and, like, the ingredients are significantly worse than they were fucking 10 years ago. It's, like, not even comparable. It's gone downhill, like, objectively speaking. And then other people chimed in. They're like, yeah, it has, like, really gone downhill. And then I don't remember I don't remember who was on whose side, but then someone else was like, no, it, it, like, it, it hasn't. It's, like, definitely healthier and better ingredients. And then we had, like, a back and forth about, like, Moe's versus Chipotle. So then we ended up settling it by putting them head-to-head. -head. Matt and I duked it out with what was better, Moe's or Chipotle, for a video. I won't spoil it. But man, Chipotle fucking sucks today. It's crazy. Like, the fall off on Chipotle is unbelievable. I will- I'll give you a little spoiler. The Chipotle was even worse when we had it for the video, when it was fresh, like, all optimal settings, except that we did Uber it, so not optimal. We still need to do another one in the store, because it's still bad even in Chipotle, compared to how it used to be. But point is, it is crazy how unbelievably hard Chipotle has fallen off. I've tried- Every Chipotle in Tampa by this point, and all of them have gone so far downhill on their burritos, it's disgusting. So that was probably like the most heated in-person argument, because we had multiple people taking multiple sides on it. It was very divisive. I think Chipotle isn't bad, not gonna lie. That's fine. And I, like I said, I don't think it's... Well, actually, this was... I didn't say this. But I don't think Chipotle is like a horrible option, but compared to what it used to be, it has gone so far downhill that it's just not worth picking over Moe's, like under any circumstances. Wish I could trust your opinion on food, but you dislike Little Caesars. That's America's pizza. That's America's poop right there, brother. That shit is just not good. Like for the price, it's fine, I guess. Chipotle has been getting so expensive. Everything's been getting expensive. Every single food has. I heard about people finding bugs in their Chipotle. No, but I'm not like surprised or anything. I feel like that happens at every fast food place. 
they just pump out so much food every day that it's bound to happen to a certain extent. Have you seen the crazy Lego drama going on? Popular toy, toy store called Brick Builders got busted for knowingly buying and selling Lego sets stolen from other stores. Man, the Lego community's always got some shit going on. Oh, wait, they got arrested. Oh, wait, isn't this the same? This is the same... No, this is different. We talked about uh, the geriatric Lego thieves, thieves who stole, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Legos, so, like, five sets, and the police made, like, a huge bust post about it, and it was pretty cool, actually. So they had, like, an old man that would go in. They had, like, a getaway driver and everything. It was kind of an elaborate scheme. So police bust massive Lego theft ring at Brick Builders in Eugene. It was a three-month investigation that revealed evidence that the owner of Brick Builders on Willamette Ammon Henriksen was knowingly purchasing new unopened sets of Legos that had been stolen from local retail stores. Didn't realize Legos were so lucrative. They're extremely expensive, yeah. It was over 4,000 stolen sets worth over $200,000. Not bad. Well, super. I'm the youngest of five kids. My son has my brother's old red Lego carrying case from when he was... What? Why? Why? What? what? Eight. We're a Lego family. Lego lovers know puzzling with the pieces starts young. People feel and go straight to brick builders with these stolen Legos. And we'd watch people go into the stores with the Legos and come out with cash in hand. Police say those suspects told them brick builders owner Amy. That's so interesting. That's like actually fucking RuneScape, where you'd kill a creature, take the item, and immediately sell it at the general store real quick. Like back in OG old school RuneScape before the Grand Exchange, and if you just needed like quick GP. So they'd immediately steal and go right to this place, and then they'd walk out with cash in hand, like a pawn store, a pawn shop. How did he think he was going to get away with that? They didn't even try and hide it. Lego sets have serial numbers too. I mean, this whole thing is so flawed. I don't know what the thought process was. And store says some of the thieves is that the Millennium Falcon? To buy fentanyl, and most were willing to work with police after being disgruntled. And nice. Well, take that, brick builders. The good guys win again. Did you watch the new Ultimate Muscle on Netflix? They got a new Ultimate Muscle? I loved Ultimate Muscle when I was young. When did this come out? Wow, this is brand new. This is actually brand new. Is it though? Actually, this looks like the animation I remember from when I was a kid. Are they just bringing it to Netflix? No, I think they're just bringing it to Netflix. I don't think this is a new series. No, it is new. It looks exactly how I remember Ultimate Muscle looking in my head. I still remember one of the very first times I ever used Amazon. I ordered an Ultimate Muscle DVD. Never showed up. So me and my parents were convinced Amazon was a scam website and we ended up just like never using it from that point forward until of course Amazon became the household name that it ended up being. But for the longest time, we thought that Amazon was just a scam because we paid like 30 fucking bucks for the Ultimate Muscle DVD that never arrived. This is so hype. Damn, this soundtrack is going crazy, too. So this is out right now? I gotta fucking- know. Man, there's so many things to watch! First episode, basically an upscaled recap of the entire show. It's amazing. Alright, I got- I have to watch that. Oh, so much. Is it like One Punch Man? Not at all. I don't even know what I'd compare Ultimate Muscle to. It really, even- Fucking 30 years later, however it's long, however long it's been since the Ultimate Muscle manga debuted. It's, it's old. I still can't really think of anything to compare it to. But it's inspired quite a few other manga. I'm curious how much 4Kids censored. So am I. This was already bloodier than anything 4Kids ever showed. Yep, talked about that guy earlier. The guy who nutted on the girl's leg. Philly man accused of masturbating on woman's leg. Well, I mean, he, he busted on it, yeah. Wow. I did not see this, uh, this camera footage of what he looks like. His shirt is, you just gotta see it. Look at his shirt. 
It's not going to lick itself with a candy cane. This guy set out here on a mission. He even dressed for the occasion. Environmental storytelling. It's not going to lick itself. And then he busts on the girl's leg. I saw that he turned himself in. How long ago? Because that was the most recent story I found from seven hours ago. Meek Mill put out a bounty to find him. I don't... I, I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> but Meek Mill put $2,000 on anyone that can give info on him. Not trying to be rude, but how did the woman not know? Was it like a drive-by nut? Yeah, so here. I, I'm a little foggy on the details. I'm pretty sure what happened is he had already like pre-loaded. So he was already in like the, the final stages of bust. And what he did is he just like went next to her and then just climaxed so pr pretty much a drive-by but i'll double check i read it earlier but i think that's what it was the employees told investigators where the man allegedly hang out hang at where the man allegedly hangs out and the cops have since released photos from the surveillance video of the man they believe is responsible i i think they i think they got the right guy with the shirt like that it's not going to lick itself but yeah, it does not say how he busted so quick because you would notice someone jerking off in the store. Like, even even if she didn't, somebody would. What's the point in doing that, though? I don't know. He's just a deranged degenerate. I couldn't tell you. Police identified him as 35-year-old Gary Miles. His surrender happening after disturbing videos circulated on social media, appearing to show the end of the assault. It happened after well, let's hear his side of the story. Plaza. I cannot believe he actually turned himself in. That's craziness. I bet... I'm going to make a bold prediction. Since they haven't released motive or anything, this is only 27 minutes old, I think this is going to be a similar case as that lady who was wanted as an accomplice to murder who saw on Facebook that the authorities were offering a reward to whoever could bring them information that led to her arrest, and she turned herself in to get the reward. I think this guy saw that Meek Mills was offering two grand for anyone that could give info on this on the nutter and he's like okay i want the two grand i'm the nutter i'm the one who nuts and that's how this happened lock in i think that's accurate i'm almost positive that that's what happened that's the only way that the drive-by buster would ever turn himself in <laughs> judge she obviously walked in front of me while i was stroking my cock yeah, I was just beating my meat, and then she just fucking spawned in, and I went well, like, it's not my fault. Your shirt kind of gives it away. Yeah, he's not in the optimal disguise. This reminds me of that video of that dude who injected a random woman in the leg with his splooge. He got 10 years in prison. That one was so foul. I mean, so was this, obviously. But that one was unbelievably unhinged. It was in a bank, right, if I remember correctly? There was this dude... Who came into a bank with a syringe of his seed and he went to a random woman and jabbed her in the leg and injected his semen into her. It was so fucking weird. What happens to the load? Like if you inject it? I'm cu I actually don't know. I don't think it's going to act like synthol or anything. I'm sure your body can process it. If you could use your own cum as like synthol, I don't think you'd be seeing many people bothering to buy it. So I imagine your body can just break it down, like, subcutaneously. I'll look it up, though. Surely there's reports on it, right, you would think? Applying human semen directly into your skin can cause anything from severe allergic reaction to an STI. You know what I just remembered when looking this up? There was that bodybuilder. We actually just talked about this guy. There was that bodybuilder who was injecting cum into his back, right? Or no, arm. He was injecting it into his arm to help with pain. We just, uh, we actually just talked about that guy. It was an Irish man, if I remember correctly. Man hospitalized in Dublin after injecting himself with his own sperm. Yeah. He had intravenous, he had intravenously injected his own semen as an innovative method to treat back pain. Did his back pain disappear though? Oh, absolutely. I mean, of course, it's like a panacea. Why do you think aliens are real, but not the supernatural? How in the fuck are those two things even possibly related? Aliens at least has like a logical basis to be real because the universe is so large. It could absolutely have life somewhere out there in the cosmos. 
There is absolutely no logical basis for why the supernatural would be real. I can't believe we're getting into this argument again. Universe equals big isn't a good argument for the origin of life or its ver- What? How is that not a good argument for the origins of life? There are so many possible habit habitable planets out there in the cosmos. You, you really think in the entire scale of the entire universe, this is the only planet that somehow had life on it? Out of the infinitely expanding universe, somehow Earth is the only one that has life. Aliens were we if aliens were real, we would have met them already. I can't tell if people are being serious or not. Absolutely not. We we never would. <laughs> like even a hundred thousand years from now, even if there's billions of aliens out there, we probably still would never meet them just because of how big space is. You would need faster than light travel, and it wouldn't be us that would find that. That'd be aliens somehow because we're not even close. Police just released body cam video of them pulling over a UFO. Is that right? That was pretty cool. 